Welcome back to State of the Nation. The control of customs, Colonel Hamid Ali retired, has been given a new date Wednesday next week to appear before the Senate to answer questions bordering on payment of duty on old cars imported. That primary reason seems to have taken the back seat, though. You may want to ask, what is in a uniform? And he is still here with me, uh, Adito Kumbo Mumini, as well as Hannibal Waifel, who is the president of the African Bar Association. What's in a uniform? <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know what uniform has got to do with the performance of a, a public function. There is, I don't think there is any law uh, except that for identification purpose. I don't think there is anything special in the uniform. Let them ask the, the senators. Let them ask the, uh, the, 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 the contract general of the Nigerian custom questions relating to the assignment of his office. But he cannot appear before the Honorable Senate and then not be in uniform. Do you think that's appropriate? And what kind of statements is he conveying out to, to the public? You see, unless they will cite to me or to Nigerians any law establishing the, the, the custom or any law in Nigeria that says the, the, the person who occupies a particular position must at all times be in uniform. What has uniform got to do with the performance of a duty? He's Let's not, ask ourselves. No, they didn't say he's not at all times been uh, yes. not, in, not in uniform. All of the times, he has not been in uniform at all. Let, let me ask the, the Nigerian senators, what has uniform, the kind of uniform got to do with the performance of an official function? That's the point I want to do. We should stop chasing shadows. Let's address issues. Yes. That's my okay. opinion. Mm. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's, 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 talk to, um, let's talk to Hannibal uh, Waifo now. You also have heard about this uh, seeming troubled situation that we're having with the CGC and the Senate. What do you suppose is the appropriate way to do when we have to tackle this issue, if come Wednesday and we don't have him in uniform, what's going to happen to him? Well, the way I look at it is very simple. The, this is a clear case of subordination, and uh, we need to be very careful how we run government in our country. We voted for change, we voted for better behavior. Voted for respect for our country, we voted for respect for our constitution, we voted for respect for our institutions. If the Senate have said that a man who is serving the government, being paid by the government, should represent the institution in which he is the head, honorable, and wearing the uniform, I believe that it will be. After all, people are saying, oh, what has uniform got to do with performance? What has it not got to do with non-performance? What is difficult in wearing uniform? I think there is a clear case of this. And unfortunately, the government is going to be the loser because this government came on a very popular platform. And unless we start doing things correctly, respecting the different divisions, tomorrow the, Kai, the Supreme Court will ask Amid Ali to appear before it, and we will say, yeah, he can't, can't appear. Or you would go and do something else. I mean, we should we should begin to understand that every arm of government has its role to play. And there's a need to respect. Would the president ask him to wear the uniform and he say he would not wear it? Is the Senate not and the National Assembly not the separate arm of government? It's very unfortunate. I think that we need to now at this stage continue to respect our institution. And if we can demand this of Amid Ali, then we can also demand it of the Senate to respect Nigeria and demand it of the House of Representatives to respect Nigerians and demand it of the President to respect Nigerians. I don't think we'll support this kind of impunity where a man will say, you are head of, even if you are not, you are not recruited by customs. Your appointment, what is it for? It's not recruitment. I think that the man should go out with the Senate. Otherwise, now, the Senate should no, better. No, I, have, I have something for you, as a matter of fact. If we have to go that route, it will have to be justified because if you say there is a reason to be moral about this and he should wear his uniform does that take anything away from a man like that who has succeeded in man in the borders 
who has also intercepted, as you remember, that cache of weapons that were seized recently. This is him in action. What do you have to say about that? Did you get me? How do you respond to the fact that oh, I, this I, is a man that has performed, yeah, yeah. actually? Can you hear me now? Yes, I can, loud and clear now. This is a man, Hamid Ali, Colonel Hamid Ali retired, who has performed exceptionally well. He has been able to man the borders properly. He has intercepted weapons, cash of weapons that came into this country. And even illegal and count contrabands that are coming into the country, he has been able to stop it. Do you think wearing a uniform takes anything away from a man like that? It's part of his job. If you are able to cut 100 uh, uh, lawbreakers and then you are, able, you are unable to obey simple institutions, you are a failure. Let's not play to the gallery. I think that we must respect institutions. It's not a personal thing. If you are recruited into the customs, go and wear the customs uniform. Otherwise, tender a resignation and go and do something else. That's my point. Hannibal Wife, I want to thank you so much indeed for talking to us. We're going to have to let you go at this point. Many thanks indeed. Let's come back to you now and uh, look at what Hannibal has just said. He said it is not justified for him not to wear his uniform. What's your own response? I just see what has uniform got to do with performance of all official functions. That's my response. I, do, I, don't, I do, You see, matters of importance should be looked into. Let the man come to answer the questions put to him in respect of whether custom duties should be backdated on the on, on, on certain vehicle. That is the that is the pure issue that Nigerians want to hear, not somebody in, in a particular uniform. What has it not got to the performance of a public function? What has it got to? But does it crush the the institution and perhaps uh, reduces the quest and the wanting to ascend to that position? for junior officers? You see, when you are going on official function, if, you see, the purpose why you need uniform is for the purpose of performing your duties effectively. In case you are not known, it identifies you, it identifies the institution you represent. But for the purpose of answering questions at the Senate, I don't think uniform matters. I don't think so. We should start dealing with substance, not matters of forms. Yes. I want to thank you so much indeed, Adetokubo Mumini, of uh, the executive director, of course, of, uh, of SERAP, for talking to us on these two very thank important very issues. And to Hannibal Waifo, too, who is um, uh, still with us, but from a distance. Many thanks indeed for talking to us. Many thanks for... Uh, being a part of the show and to you too for keeping that audience with us I want to thank you so much indeed for being part of the show I am Gimba Omar thank you for your tweets we'll try to have them in next week as they come in so many of them from you and we'll have a chance to interact on that as well bye for now this stage of the nation